our glitzy stitches home DIY. Today we'll be participating in Heidi Sambo's monthly challenge and this month our theme is Christmas. Super excited about this one and I want to thank Heidi for hosting this challenge. What we're going to be making today, DIY number one, is a gnome and this gnome will be placed in my craft show and I'm pretty stoked about this. I'm going to try to put this Dollar Tree mop as his beard, okay? And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to set our cone aside. Guys, these cones are large. These are the 14 inch cones, okay? Just like so. And I'm going to take this mop apart. Now, a lot of people just getting under here and like just pull on this. Here's what I do. Maybe. There we go. That's how I get them out because they eventually get so loose. Just those two got it so loose, guys, that they are just flying right out of here. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get these taken out. Next, I have the fiber part of the mop removed. I'm just going to set this aside for a moment. What we're going to do is we're going to cover our cone. Keeping in mind, guys, now this is a 14-inch cone. This puppy is big. Okay. So, little Aileen's hot or glue and then some Gorilla Glue hot glue. I always use Gorilla Glue. I love their product. Okay. We're going to pull this up and over our cone, just like so. Tucking this up. Up and in, just like so. Now remember, this is going to be covered, guys. You still want it neat and you want it tight, but this will be covered. So, okay, just like that. Now on this side as well. Up. You can even go back under your cone a bit. However, it's super easy, guys. There's really no mistakes here. You just want it to look nice and neat. Okay, just like that. Amazing. Oh, my goodness. As you guys can see, this is kind of rough. But what's going to happen is it's all going to be covered. The most important thing you want to worry about is literally the bottom of your cone because when someone picks this up and looks at the bottom look how nice that is now that's good workmanship what we're going to do here is we're going to start with the very bulk and this is going to be his face okay now i have not to date used my mop on one of the cones um, with the felt so we're about to find out how this is going to go Okay, now I'm going to bring this up quite high, and the reason I'm doing that is because um, the hat's going to come down, his hat. And you know, guys, could I do it like this? Yeah, of course I could, and try to bunch it all up here and things like that, but I'm going to do it individual. I really, really am. Um, I'm going to run it from about here to about right there, okay? And I'm going to cut each piece of the mop accordingly okay so let's see how that's gonna go I'm gonna put it yep just right there okay to stand out okay guys what I'm gonna do I'm gonna start up here we're gonna make this quite high because we want to see we're gonna go about like there. we're gonna go ahead and go around to about the side here okay just like so. Okay. You can lay this down to do this as well, guys. However you want to do it. It's up to you. Watch your fingers. Make sure you got your finger protector on hand. Okay. We're going to have to cut some of this off, I can tell. We just want it nice and bushy, even more so bushy this way than long, okay? You want to get these as close together as possible. We may have to cut more. There we have it. I have our sticky beard all stuck. 
Now this is two rows guys. I went, I did one row right across and then I went in between each other strand of the mop pad. This is so cute guys. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to see and see how clean that is in the back. I love it. Just love it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to construct the hat. And this is where my fabric adhesive comes in, guys. Okay. I'm literally going to do this like this. Now we want this about, mm, hmm, let's say about 14 inches now. All right, on your folded side, guys, you want to turn it like this in like a book, okay? Like a book. Your folded side is going to be right here. On your folded side, you literally just want to start cutting, and you can absolutely, if you want to, guys, you can draw your pattern. Absolutely. I'm just cutting away here. And I want to go all the way up. to the corner. So we're taking our fabric fusion and we're going to run it right down, guys. This does not have to be perfect, okay? But I will tell you this. It takes fabric fusion quite a while to dry. So that's why I go right by it with my hot glue. And guys, too, it's kind of pricey. So you do want to use it sparingly. So, okay, here it goes. I'm going to go ahead... And I'm going to go just like this, okay? Because we'll come back and we'll reinforce it with our hot glue as well. When I got this off of a hat from the Dollar Tree, and it goes perfect. So let's go ahead and get our guy over here. Now, we have to put his nose on yet. And you know, for the nose, I have my Amazon Wood Balls with no holes in them. I love these things. I've used them on all my gnomes. I love them. And this one actually, this beard actually allows us a spot to just set it right on there, almost like a ledge. kind of like that. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to switch it up a little bit here, guys. We're going to use some wood glue. And I'm going to put this wood glue right in the center because what I want is when this wood glue dries, I want it to stay dry, just like that. Okay, a little bit more than I normally would use. Okay, now we're also going to take some of the Fabric Fusion. Guys, this is actually going to have three types of glue on it. Okay, just like we're going to make like a, almost like an egg yolk, I guess I'd say, guys. Okay, put this around here like this. Oh, this glue is such a pain to even get out. There we go. Just like that. There we go. Here it comes. Here it comes. Just like that. Okay. Now that's going to adhere to that fabric. Okay. Now we need our hot glue. And guys, I am used to making sock gnomes. They're my favorite. So I have to allow and I have to tell myself that it's not going to smush in the way it would if I was using a sock. Okay. It's going to stick, but it's not going to stick like it would. You don't get that give when you're adhering your nose. So we're going to adhere our nose just like this. Okay. This is already cute. Okay. Just like so. All right. Yep. There we go. Now, now, it is time for our hat final reveal okay so let's get our hat on here okay and i've seen all kinds of tales of the hats okay you can make the hat stick straight up you can give the hats these great curves like i'm doing here now you want this to go back and you want it nice guys you want this to have a nice And you can, if you want to 
put some stuffing in the hat, by all means do so. Big. So I went ahead and I cut about another half inch off this, followed the same procedure, okay? I put it back on his head, now this red right here is showing. So what we're going to do for that is we're going to go ahead and we're going to take some pieces of the yarn and we're going to put it, of the mop yarn, excuse me, and we're going to put it right along the side of his face here, right along the side of his nose. Okay, we're going to do that just like this. I did not expect to have to do this, but you know, you kind of have to be prepared for the unexpected a little bit. And I'm so glad I had these extra pieces over there and didn't do anything with them. Okay, it's not going to make it look funny or anything else because it's already there. Okay, and you can cut off accordingly. And it actually looks really cute. So, all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get this on. We'll be back. We'll get this hat on. Brought out so I could show you my other gnome that I made the other day. These are both 14 inch gnomes. The one, of course, has the standard faux fur beard. And this one we made today has the mop beard but I think these guys just turned out adorable and I will probably charge about $15 a piece for them considering what they are in a retail store so okay and on to DIY number two guys for our second DIY today what we're going to do is an actual photograph of a snowman this is an actual photograph taken by Danielle Johnson um, I have never seen these in my life, and I cannot wait to try it. I think it's adorable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up. First, though, I'm going to put some Antique Wax by Waverly on this plank piece of wood here. This, what did we call it the other day? This wood <laughs> um, from the Dollar Tree. And I want to bring this grain out. I'm seeing some gorgeous, gorgeous grain going on up in here. Use a short one. All right, and then we're going to wipe it off with a paper towel. This is a short, easy project, but this is going to be beautiful. And I am going to use wood glue to back on the backing of this. We're going to stick a beautiful bow on there, guys, and we're going to call it good. This is so cool and easy, just so very easy. Now, you see my um, antique wax is coming out very, very thick. Now that's a sign of age, guys, and my bottle is getting down so to the nitty-gritty there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to wipe this all over this, and then I'm going to come back with my paper towel, and I'm going to wipe it off. Please, when you open it from the bottom so you don't damage the top. That's awesome. Okay, I want to center this as good as possible. I'm not going to do anything fancy to center this, guys. I want to eyeball this, but... Let me see if we can do it. Um, you know, I might rule it. I just might because I don't want this to be uneven. Okay. No, no. Right top of his scarf goes right on that dot. <laughs> so, all right, guys. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take our photo and turn it over. Okay. Now, I want this to stick. All right, we might try some of that. But the last time I used spray adhesive, guys, in all honesty, it didn't work. Not worth a hill of beans, as my mom would say. You don't want no big lumps and bumps in your photo from your glue. That's just nasty. That's what hot glue does because it dries so fast you can't work with it at all. All right, sometimes that's good, sometimes it's not. All right, let's see. All right, you know what, guys, I am ever. Here we go. Did you did something really silly. The holes were down here. I put the picture on backwards. So what I did is I cut another hole up here and I've taken some jute twine. I put some jute twine through. I tied a knot in the back right there and I just ran it around the side and I'm going to do the same thing on this side and see what kind of look we can get out of that. I think it'll be quite cute. So all I did guys is I just this my jute twine through the hole I created up here with my crocodile and I tied it off twice so it's a nice thick knot 
And guys, if you haven't checked out Heidi's channel, go do so. She's so talented and just you can get so many encouraging ideas from her. Check out her channel. I'll have the link in my description box below. In fact, I'll have the link to all of Heidi's channels in my description box below. Go check her out, guys. She's awesome. Find it up just like so. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get this wound and I'll be right back. I'm going to go ahead and frame this out. I'm going to run some jute twine across the top and across the bottom as well. This turned out absolutely adorable. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little Christmas greeting and put here. And then we're going to put a buffalo check bow from the Dollar Tree right there. We're going to call this a finished DIY. Here we have it. I am so pleased with the way this turned out. I think this is just adorable. If you like what you've seen today, go ahead and give me a great big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell next to your subscription and you'll be notified each time I upload new video. I can also be found on Facebook and Instagram at Glitzy Stitches Home DIY. And if you'd like to help support my channel, you can buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash Glitzy Stitches. Thank you so much. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.